Exploring the phrase, log flume. Hello dear learners. Today, we are diving deep into the English language to uncover the meaning behind the phrase, log flume. Whether you've come across it in books, movies, or theme parks, we'll help you grasp its essence. Let's set sail. The phrase, log flume consists of two main words, log and flume. Log. In this context, a log refers to a long piece of timber that's usually rounded. Think of a big piece of wood that you might see floating on a river. Flume. A flume is a narrow channel or chute that is designed to transport water. Imagine a man-made slide or tunnel where water flows. Together, a log flume typically refers to a water ride commonly found in amusement parks where riders sit in a boat designed to look like a log, and it travels through a channel or chute filled with water. You may come across the term, log flume, in various contexts. 1. Theme parks, the most popular context. Log flume rides are a blend of serene water rides and thrilling roller coasters. Riders often experience calm waters, followed by a sudden drop leading to a big splash. 2. History and Industry Historically, log flumes were used to transport logs from forests down to sawmills using water channels. This method was efficient for moving heavy logs over large distances. 3. Books and Movies the term might pop up when describing settings or scenes involving water-based transportation or rides. To understand any phrase better, it's always helpful to see it in action. Here are some sentences with log flume. 1. The kids had a blast riding the log flume at the amusement park, especially the big drop at the end. 2. Historically, Lumberjacks used a log flume to transport timber down the mountain. 3. In the movie, the protagonist's daring escape on a log flume was a suspenseful moment. And that's a wrap on our journey with the phrase, log flume. Hopefully, this explanation has made the term clearer for you. The next time you're at an amusement park and see a sign for a log flume ride, you'll not only know what it is but also appreciate the history behind it. Stay curious and keep exploring the English language.